Imagine a pain that strikes without warning and then gradually gets worse over time. Local 5 Shelly Botot tells us about this chronic pain syndrome and a new treatment that's restoring hope. Doctors are not sure what causes some people to develop complex regional pain syndrome, or CRPS, while others with similar traumas do not. In more than 90% of cases, it is caused by an injury like a fracture or minor surgery. Michelle Schrader has gone to therapy for most of the past two and a half years. I couldn't touch my fingertips to one another. I couldn't move it. I couldn't go like supinate or pronate. Like there was no movement whatsoever. It all began when Michelle tripped and tore a ligament and cartilage in her hand. I had surgery to have that repaired. But after surgery, Michelle was having severe pain, couldn't move her hand or wrist and more. My hand was three times the size it is now and it was just purple and very shiny and I had hair all over my hand. And it was affecting her life as a mother and eventually she had to quit her job. So she went to Dr. Ahmet Dervish at Aurora Baycare Medical Center who knew right away it was complex regional pain syndrome. Skin hair growth changes, nail changes, also a part of the similar blood flow issues of the extremity. So Michelle began intensive therapy. We feel that by moving the extremity, we are trying to desensitize the nervous system. Plus, she has had to have sympathetic nerve block shots to help ease the pain while in therapy. By providing the block, we create a window of opportunity to do more physical therapy and release that stiffness. The blocks and rehab have made a big difference in Michelle's life. She still has pain, but her hand looks normal and... I can move. <laughs> I can do things. <laughs> There is no diagnostic test to confirm the condition. It is diagnosed by its symptoms and person's history. To learn more, you can call Aurora Baycare or email healthwatch at aurorabaycare.com. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botel, Local 5 News HD.